Today I want to cover a little more about uh, the difference between art and craft and uh, kind of how that got started and what the different roles of an artist and a craftsman, the difference between the two. So with the chart, we'll start off with our original triangle of eat, sleep, and defend. Eat, sleep, and defend. You remember that. Okay, we said in the eat and sleep department it takes about eight hours. Seven and a half hours to sleep and eight and a half hour to eat. That takes up that leg. The other two legs of the triangle are taken up by defending themselves. This is in the primitive state. Do you remember what we're talking about? So that would mean in these 16 hours, uh, they're out looking for food, looking for shelter, watching for predators. So they're defending themselves. That's the whole time is taken up defending themselves and then sleeping. But then as they got more, a little more developed, they found that if they stayed in a cave and they had fire, they could sleep there, eat there, and then these 16 hours were spent out roaming around. Either they had guards posted around to keep their cave safe, and um, they were out looking for food, so on. But eventually, because of the cave, this 16 hours dwindled, say, maybe to 12 hours. So they had 12 hours of sleep, of defend, and then they had these extra four hours where they would, uh, they, they had other, they, they didn't have to do that, so they were kind of like off hours. Okay. So let's put the craft over here, and let's put the, the art, the art on this side, okay? There's a dividing line. Okay, so we're in the cave now. Remember where they're trading meat for fruit? If you don't remember that, go back a few episodes, a few readings, and you'll find they, so we talked about how they got the stick down, and I think it's uh, number seven or number eight. And so they've got extra fruit, and now they're exchanging fruit for the little shells they have. That's the money part. And so uh, they're dealing with these meat people over here, the meat tribe. They keep coming over and getting the fruit and trading things and so on. So on the craft side, this guy, he builds a little bowl out of plastic, out of um, clay and figures that out. And he keeps his fruit in there and he's, the, meat, the meat tribe comes over and they, get, they trade uh, little shells for meat, for... Uh, for uh, the fruit, and he takes it out of this and hands it to them, and um, off they go. And, and another thing, the meat people by this time have figured out if they dried the meat, they could sell it, they could give them a lot more, to, had a lot more to trade, and it would last longer, where fruit didn't last long, but um, so they had to keep trading for, for fruit, but they, had, they could really gather a lot of meat up because they could dry it and it would last for a long time. So there was an imbalance there. That's why they used the, the shells for money to because uh, they couldn't they couldn't produce enough fruit in order to uh, for all the meat they were getting so they were giving them shells and that acted as money so you understand there's an exchange going on here so anyway one day a meat meat guy comes over and he gets to get some fruit and he gives them some shells and he asks he says hey I'd like to have that basket I mean that little uh, bowl you made there. It looks pretty cool. I'd like to have it back at the village and uh, with my tribe. So he says, okay, I'll give me an extra shell and you can have the, the bowl. See? Okay, that's where I told you before. Craft is about money. Art is not about money. So there we go. He's traded that, that little bowl he made for some money and he says, that's pretty good. The more money I get, the more I, I won't have to go out and spend time with the defend people out here gathering food I can pay them some money and they'll do my defending for me see so it kinda worked that way 
Well, anyway, in this leisure time, what is the artist doing in these four hours that they don't have to defend themselves? Well, he's just sitting in the back of the cave, observing. That's all. He spends his four hours just watching. Watching how the tribe works. Watching how the meat people come over here and exchange. Okay, so one day, there starts to be more people making these bowls because they can sell them and for more, uh, you know, to make some money. And so they, this guy's got a lot of competition now. So he puts a little stick figure. I'll draw it bigger here. He puts a stick figure like that. A little stick figure on his bowl. And he starts selling his. Gets More people want his than they want the other bowls. See, that's how that works. Competition and so on. That's still on the money side. Okay, so the art side, the guy over here, he's watched that. And he said, that's a pretty good little thing there, that, that little figure. That's a pretty good idea. That came out of the, the money and the brain idea. Remember I talked about that? That was a good idea. So this guy that's been sitting here all the time, the artist side, with the no money side, he goes to the back of the cave, gets some charcoal. He draws a stick figure. He draws a stick figure with a pole, and he has the pole had knocked some fruit down. See, he observed that. That's how this whole thing has been going because of the fruit. So he sees that and he says, "Okay, that makes people happy." So he puts a little happy face on there, and that see, this was just an expressionless face this has some expression so the rest of the tribe goes back in there and they look at that and they love it and they keep looking at it and they go back and sit there and look at it so that's how the artist got started okay we got the craft we got the artist now we'll come back next week and we're going to pick up exactly where I left off here today because I'm out of time okay Go to my website, send me an email, and see you next week. We'll go pick this up again.